Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei MatePad 11 and today I'll share with you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this tablet. So before I get started, I will mention this is running the Harmony OS operating system instead of the Android. So there might be a little bit of a differences than what you'd usually see on well, any kind of Android phone or tablet. So one of those would be, for instance, the swipe up on the applications. Now, if you pay attention, some of the applications have like this bar underneath. Not all of them, but some of them do. As you can see, uh, camera, gallery, music, calendar, health. Uh, some of the ones that I can see right here. And what you can do with that is simply swipe up, which will open up uh, some additional content to it. So as an example, camera will give you a couple options that you can do, selfie, beauty, photo, video, uh, music will open up things like playlists, uh, calendar, obviously some well, additional information, which uh, it's lacking in, it, in here anyway. What else is there? Health, just I guess exercises right here. So you have a couple options right here. And then moving on to the another gestures that are associated with just the home screen, it would be the dock right here. Now, even though it does resemble the iOS in almost every single way possible, uh, including even the notifications being uh, dependent on which side you pull down from, uh, the dock is one of those things that kind of disappoints. It looks the same, but it disappoints. Uh, but anyway, uh, apart from that, we can see that it is also divided into two, although kind of like iOS doc, I believe it's in one piece and shows you basically your recent applications. Here it is divided and has that bar right here. So what you can do is grab it. And if you have some kind of apps that it would normally show you, let's see, kind of open up something else. Just so there's a couple different options. So there we go. And I opened three different apps right now. So now when I swipe to the side, oh, my bad was this side. So you swipe up to the left and it will show you basically several of your recent applications. Now I do not know how many of them will be stored. So I'm just gonna start opening up and see how many it will remember. So it looks like it stores only four of them. So, Four with the default amount, which, like I said, it is far crappier than what you see on actual iOS, which this is, uh, I wouldn't say borrowing, it's literally ripping off uh, from it. So yeah, um, so you have several applications that you can access right here. So if you have a couple of them that you really use quite often, you can simply swipe it and have them right here, probably visible. But anyway, let's move on to the next one which is going to be the dark mode. So obviously you can access it in settings under the display and brightness. And it's just a simple toggle right over here. And we have now dark mode. Now I'm gonna turn it off just because on camera, I think it looks better in light mode. It's a little bit more clear to see rather than dark mode. And uh, downside here, additional, uh, unlike majority of Android phones and also tablets, this dark mode is just a toggle. There is no additional settings to it unlike uh, some of the devices that have nowadays uh, things like schedule for dark mode, which I would consider to be more beneficial. So yeah, just a toggle, but still, if you prefer dark mode, there it is. And it's a system wide, so it includes apps in it as well. Now moving on to the next option, which is also gonna be in the same place, which is display and brightness. It is the screen refresh rate, which you can see it right here, the bottom, and you tap on it, we have a couple options. So we have the dynamic, high and standard. Standard being just a 60 frames, 120 is the high one, which uh, it is capped at it and stays at the, uh, that 120 Hertz refresh rate. And dynamic basically varies depending on what content you open up. And here's the thing that I can basically explain and give you some kind of idea what you might wanna pick. So dynamic will be for the people that don't really wanna bother with anything uh, associated with this and uh, just like it the way it is, which kind of doesn't really explain much um, because it switches automatically based on the content. High is for the people kind of like me, uh, stupid enough to basically pick a high just because it's gonna be always at 120 uh, and I prefer that. So every swipe is going to be as battery smooth as it can get no matter what I'm looking at. 
and standard is for the people that prefer battery over smoothness uh, because 60 frames is basically half of it meaning that the processor in here needs to do less work to basically show the same content at a smoother pace so it will consume way less battery than the 120 and we're talking about a couple hours in addition just for the more smooth looking experience of your device so that's basically the only uh, drawbacks to picking 120 battery life and if you don't care about battery life then probably go with high or dynamic and for everybody else if you pr prioritize your battery so you don't have to charge it as often uh, or maybe you just want to have the device be usable for a couple days uh, then certainly drop it down to 60 uh, which will give you more battery life and also you prioritize battery life uh, dark mode might also give you some additional advantages there as well but not much and moving on to the last next and last option it is going to be the system navigation now if i open up something like settings you can see that i've been using the buttons right here uh, but personally it's not my favorite style of uh, navigating through anything nowadays so if you are like me and you just prefer to have gestures because they just feel better to use you can simply go into settings scroll down to system and update system navigation tap on the gestures uh, now here we have the gesture tutorial if you try to cancel it it also cancels the actual gesture settings that you try to change right now which is kind of stupid so you need to press start and then you need to close it because reasons but once you do that you have access to your gestures and as you can see it also moves the dock a little bit lower because it doesn't need that space for the buttons that were right here and if you never used gestures before the way you use them is you swipe up quickly to go home swipe up and hold to go to recent and swipe from a side as you can see to get uh, to go back and additionally uh, there is also a side panel uh, which is also accessible if you're using the normal buttons so when you swipe from a side as you can see if you do a quick swipe it's just an arrow but if you swipe and hold it changes to the uh, side panel right here which is also visible by the bar like the squares right here and if you're not using gestures when you swipe from a side it automatically pops up with this kind of icon so you can let go and it will open up the panel and in here you have a bunch of things that come preloaded to it uh, which I mean some of them might be useful maybe not all but what you can do is at the bottom tap on this button right here then again tap on a plus that changed into it and from here you can remove apps that you don't want on the panel and add ones that you might want click on the checkbox and voila an additional benefit to this is you can open that panel in any kind of application just swipe and hold and voila and this will also when you open up application like that open that application in a pop-up view so it doesn't close what you already had open it just adds a additional app on top of it and i believe you can store three different apps actually and here it actually opens them up there we go so it's two apps uh, which you can basically switch and additionally the third one that is running in the background uh, the full screen one and as you can see on here we have a maximized version of it so we can just put it in the full screen we can minimize it to this app head and we can also close it with the close button so there we go now, anyway this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that i wanted to share with you and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching